DTE and smart driving. The DTE suddenly changed. Is there a better way for EVs to drive economically? If you understand the characteristics of an EV and make good use of its specialized functions, you can drive longer distances with limited battery. First of all, because the HVAC system of an EV uses electricity from the high voltage battery, it decreases the DTE. When using the air conditioning or heating, turning on the driver only setting will help you save energy. So be sure to switch on the driver only function when using the HVAC system. Using a seat warmer function rather than the heater is a way to increase the DTE. This is because the seat warmer consumes less battery than turning on the heater. In very cold regions, the battery's performance may decrease as the temperature decreases, so parking your car in an indoor garage close to the room temperature is a great way to save battery. If you actively utilize regenerative braking during braking and deceleration, you can increase the DTE through the charged energy. We learned earlier that regenerative braking level can be controlled by using the paddle switch. Driving habits are also very important. Sudden acceleration will increase battery consumption and sudden braking will reduce the amount of regenerative braking, reducing battery efficiency. In addition, battery consumption can be further reduced by setting the drive mode to eco mode while driving. Using these six methods, you can increase DTE. Wait a minute. When I changed the drive mode earlier, the DTE changed. Can I learn more about the drive modes? Like ICE vehicles, EVs can change driving characteristics such as steering power and acceleration performance by pressing the drive mode button. If you press the drive mode button, you can change it in the order of Eco Normal Sport Mode. Because the driving characteristics are different for each drive mode, the DTE displayed on the AVN also changes. At this time, if you long press the drive mode button, you can also select the Eco Plus mode. In simple terms, this Eco Plus mode can be called an ultra power saving mode. It is most useful when there is not much DTE left. Then, shall we compare the differences when using each drive mode? Normal and sport modes allow you to adjust the HVAC system and level of regenerative braking. In Eco mode, you can adjust three items in AVN including HVAC system, regenerative braking, and maximum speed. If you press the accelerator pedal all the way, it is possible to drive more than the maximum set speed, but the lamp will flash on the cluster with a warning sound. Finally, when you select the Eco Plus mode, the maximum speed is limited to 90 km per hour and the HVAC system is turned off, minimizing battery consumption. But no matter how good your driving habits are, you should still be careful to preserve the battery life and performance. Then what's the secret to managing the battery life well? That's a good question. The correct charging habit for batteries is to avoid DC charging and overcharging which are factors that adversely affect battery life. If you charge the battery with a DC charger, the battery generates more heat than the AC charger. Therefore, DC charging causes the battery to deteriorate more quickly. If you charge with AC charger whenever you have a free moment, or use a home charger at night when electricity is cheaper, the battery will last longer. Kia EVs are monitored by the BMU to prevent overcharging, so charging is stopped when the battery is fully charged. Accordingly, there is no need to worry about overcharging, and you can feel free to set the battery charging target level through the AVN according to your personal preferences. I can even manage battery life. EVs are so smart. Yes, they are. Oh no. It looks like there was a big accident outside. Kia. Movement that inspires.